Do you ever feel like something's off, but you can't quite put your finger on it? Maybe you're experiencing unexplained headaches, stomach aches, or even fatigue that just won't go away. While it's easy to attribute these symptoms to external factors like stress or a busy lifestyle, the truth might lie deeper within ourselves, in our emotions. With that said, let's dive into why burying your feelings might be taking a toll on you. Signs your repressed emotions are making you sick. Number one, persistent aches and pains. Have you noticed that your body seems to ache more than usual? Without any clear physical cause, stress and repressed emotions can manifest as physical pain, such as tension headaches, muscle stiffness, or stomach discomfort. Number two, frequent illnesses. Are you constantly under the weather lately, even when there's no apparent reason for it? Chronic stress weakens the immune system, and if you're constantly under emotional strain, your body might not have the resources it needs to fight off germs effectively. Number three, low energy and fatigue. Even if we suppress our emotions, they can still manifest in different ways and impact us. When your mind is preoccupied with unresolved feelings, it can be exhausting, both mentally and physically, leading to a persistent lack of energy that even a good night's sleep or exercising more won't help. Number four, Difficulty sleeping? Do you lie awake at night, your mind racing with worries and thoughts? Emotions like anxiety, sadness, or anger can disrupt your sleep patterns, leaving you feeling tired and unrested in the morning. Number five, changes in appetite. Have you noticed sudden changes in your eating habits? Whether it's overeating or loss of appetite, your body might be using food as a coping mechanism for unresolved feelings leading to unhealthy eating patterns and potential weight fluctuations. Number six, skin problems. Your skin might be trying to tell you something about your emotional state. Stress and repressed emotions can trigger or worsen skin conditions like acne, eczema, or psoriasis. Number seven, memory and concentration problems. Are you finding it difficult to concentrate or remember things lately? Emotional distress, even when repressed, can impair cognitive function making it harder to focus, learn or retain information and interfere with your ability to think clearly and efficiently. Why repressing your emotions makes you sick. Now, let's talk about why suppressing your emotions can take such a toll on your physical health. It all comes down to the connection between mind and body. When we push aside our feelings instead of processing them, we essentially bottle up all that emotional energy inside ourselves. Think of it like a simmering pot on the stove. If you keep the lid tightly shut, eventually the contents will bubble over. Similarly, repressed emotions create internal pressure, leading to the range of symptoms we mentioned. Studies have shown that when we repress or deny our feelings, our bodies respond with increased levels of stress hormones, like cortisol and adrenaline. This heightened state of physiological arousal can wreak havoc on our emotional well-being through chronic stress, weakening our immune system and disrupting our body's natural physiological balance. What can you do about it? The good news is that you have the power to break free from this cycle of emotional suppression and physical distress. So, the next time you notice your body sending you signals in the form of aches, pains or exhaustion, pause for a moment and ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? What emotions might I be avoiding or ignoring? And most importantly, what can I do to give those feelings the attention and care they deserve? Experts recommend finding healthy outlets for expressing your emotions, whether it's through talking to a trusted friend, journaling, or engaging in creative activities like painting or dancing. Give yourself permission to let your feelings flow freely. It's also good to incorporate stress reduction techniques into your daily routine, such as exercise, yoga, or progressive muscle relaxation. These practices can help lower cortisol levels and promote overall well-being. Remember, your emotions are not your enemy. They are messengers, guiding you towards a path of healing and self-awareness. By embracing your feelings rather than burying them, you're nurturing both your mental and physical health. Did this video emotionally resonate with you? What steps will you take to honor your feelings and reclaim your health today? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to our channel for more insightful mental health content like why your bad habits keep winning and harmful habits are hurting you without knowing it. Thanks for watching.